While some of your nodes might be meant to be shared and you're even maybe collaborating on, there's also nodes that we all have that we want to be sure that they stay ours and are only for us to see. And to make sure that those nodes stay private, you can now set a password on your nodes, your projects or even the entire app in Agenda 18. But that's not all we added, there's a lot more to show so let's dive straight in. So if like me you share your iPad with other members of the family, or you sometimes give a presentation where you share your screen for others to see, you're probably not too comfortable with the fact that those people could also see your notes in Agenda if they happen to be on screen. So these are just two examples where it makes sense to set a password on your notes. So let me show you how that works in Agenda 18. Here I have a note about the surprise diving trip I'm organizing. But since I don't want anybody to find out, I better put a password on it. The first time I do this, I'm explained how everything works and I'm asked to set the password. This password is synced automatically to all your devices if you use iCloud. But this Mac also supports Touch ID, which is much faster. Once a note is locked, it appears just like a collapsed note and you can no longer see what's in it. I can double click the note and I'm asked to authenticate again to reveal its contents. If I switch to a different project or the on the agenda overview and go back, you'll see that the note is still unlocked. We don't immediately lock the note, but if for instance I go to the screensaver and now log in again, you'll see that the agenda has automatically collapsed all the private notes and I need to use Touch ID to open it again. Now while the content of a private note is hidden, the title of the note is always visible, so if I don't want anybody to find out, I'll better change it to something less suspicious. Now what I've just shown you is that there is a number of conditions under which unlocked notes automatically become locked again. For instance, if I'm working in a different project more than a certain amount of time, or if I put my MacBook to sleep. In case you want to make sure that all your private notes are immediately locked, you can do so from the agenda menu. Now as the menu already suggests, it's not only possible to lock individual notes, you can also make entire projects private. For instance this diary, but I can also lock this developing Yak app project that I'm working on for an important client. And I will need to enter my password or authenticate before I can see the contents. And if I go to the on the agenda overview where it has two notes from this project, you can see that I can no longer see the contents unless I authenticate again, with Touch ID in this case. Now if I go to the on the agenda overview, I can see the full contents of these notes. And similarly to private notes, this project will stay unlocked for a while unless I explicitly lock it or for instance go to the screensaver. Now when I go back to agenda, the project is locked again. I can type the password or just hit enter or click anywhere to use Touch ID. So this is how I can make individual notes and projects private. But what if I would want all my notes and projects to be private? This is possible as well. You can go to the settings and lock the entire app when it's not in use. Now if I go to the screensaver, I will need to enter my password or use Touch ID to see any of my notes and projects. And similarly, if I quit the agenda and start it again, I will have to authenticate as well. And of course all of this works on my iPhone and iPad as well. If I go to agenda with this same setting enabled, I will first have to enter my password or in this case use Face ID to gain access to my agenda notes. You'll also notice that the contents of agenda are automatically hidden, so none of your notes are revealed accidentally. Only after you unlock agenda, any of your notes will be visible. 
Now, one important thing to mention here is that while setting a password hides the content from Agenda, it doesn't add any additional layer of security or encryption. And that's because normally your entire iPhone or iPad is already encrypted as long as you use a PIN code or a password. And the same is true for your Mac. So if you haven't done that, I highly recommend that you do set a password on your user account and also enable the file fold feature in the settings so that if your Mac gets lost or stolen, nobody can access anything on your Mac, including your agenda notes. And if you give your iPad, of course, to somebody, while you're logged into your account, that person with the right hacker skills could probably extract the agenda notes if he wanted to. So always be sure to give your device only to people that you really trust. Now, what we're trying to do here is that we just make sure that somebody who passes by or while screen sharing or when your kids are using the iPad, they can't access uh, your notes in a simple way. And that's what the perf password feature is perfect for. So let's switch to some of the other things we added to Agenda 18. So far, in overviews, your notes were always grouped per project. But sometimes, it would make more sense to have them all in one list. For instance, in the Today Overview. Here again, my notes are grouped by project. But it would make much more sense to show them in one list. Now if I click this button here in the top left, I get a lot more options of how I want to group and sort my notes. For instance, I can have them ungrouped and now they're just shown as one big list, just sorted by date. But I can also sort the notes by, for instance, creation date or by title if I want. See, now they're just alphabetically ordered in one big list. You've also noticed that I can now group my notes by color. And again, they're in one big list, just sorted by color. And if I want to quickly flip the sort order, I can use these arrows in the top right corner here. If I change the note to have a different color, you'll see it changes the order in the overview. But while we had already the option to choose your own colors, but we made some major improvements in this area by adding a dedicated color manager, much like the tag manager that we already introduced a few updates ago. We know that many of you use colors as a way to indicate the status of a node. So in Agenda 18, you can now change the label associated with the color to something that makes more sense for the way you use colors in Agenda. And when I add my own colors, which can now support transparency by the way, you'll see that those will be added to the list as well. And again, you can give them your own label. And any changes I make here will of course appear in the menu when I pick a color for my note. These colors will also be available to change the color of the text in your notes or to highlight the text in your notes. For instance, if I click and hold the highlight option in the formatting palette, you'll see the same menu again. Now, if we go back to the color manager from the window menu, you'll notice that like the tag manager, it has some additional powerful features like the ability to search for a color or to open all notes with a certain color, which if you want, you can even save as a permanent overview in the sidebar. So now when I mark a node with the color green to indicate it has been completed, it will show automatically in the overview I just saved. Now in addition to colors, you've probably already noticed that we've also added a people manager. You can get a nice overview of all the people tags you've used in your notes. You can search for them. And you can even merge and edit these people tags across all your notes in one go. And just like with colors, Create an overview if I want, all the notes where Tom was present. If I show this ungrouped and sort them by the earliest date, I now have a nice overview of all the notes from Tom that I've created since the beginning. 
Wow, that's a lot of new stuff in Agenda 18. And whether it's the password protection of sensitive nodes, or the new grouping and sorting options, or perhaps the custom colors or people browser, I'm sure there's something to like for everybody. And if you want to let us know what your favorite new feature is, then leave a comment on this video or talk to us on the Agenda community. And in the meantime, Drew and I will continue working on the next major update of Agenda. You saw perhaps that there was a project called Roadmap that is still a little bit secret, so I've added a password. But if you want to know what's in the next update of Agenda, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And in the meantime, um, go to the app stores, download Agenda 18, let us know what you think and enjoy. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Password.